Look at the newest data as it comes in. We appreciate that. Thank you so much for that, Matt. All right, right now it is Water Safety Month, and as summer's coming up, that means more time in the water. Right, whether that's a pool or a beach, increased time means increased risk for drowning. Our Felicia Michelle joins us live in studio to share some local resources to keep you safe. Felicia. Josh, Lauren, it's easy to assume that everyone just knows how to swim, especially adults, but many Americans really don't know how to due to many reasons, with males, minorities, and those with seizure disorders or certain medical conditions being at a much higher risk. Locally, the Croc Center is doing their part to educate the community not only about how to swim, but about swim safety. It, it is life skills. It's not just a physical fitness skill. Um, you're unlocking a world of possibility. The CDC reports that drowning is the leading cause of death for children ages 1 to 4 and the second leading for children ages 5 to 14. And not just children are at risk. Each year there are over 4,000 fatal drownings. The Croc Center sign up for free swim classes for Water Safety Month have filled up, but they do offer other affordable options. South Bend Empowerment Zone students can attend classes for free, and there is an income-based Croc Center scholarship that offers eight swim and swim safety classes for only $10. Health and Recreation Director at the Croc Center, Eleanor Boothman, says that learning these skills before an emergency is key. You might feel a bit nervous about learning to swim, but then you're put in a position where you kind of have no choice and have to think about saving someone else, you know, adults as role models um, around kids. If their kid is in trouble, they're going to look to the adult to help them. Um, so it's really important to teach across the board. While nationally, the Zach Foundation offers resources for kids to learn to swim. The organization was created by Karen Cohn after the drowning death of her young son. The foundation partners with Boys and Girls Clubs to teach swim safety to kids and offer other resources. Cohn stresses talking to your kids about behaviors around water, especially entering into teenage years. As new data says, the drowning risk jumps back up for kids ages 15 to 17. Whether your child knows how to swim or doesn't know how to swim, oftentimes teens overestimate their ability to swim and um, they um, also oftentimes think that they're invincible. They're not. Another thing that both Boothman and Cohn spoke to me about is that if you are an adult, it's not too late to learn. In fact, it could be a chance to learn this life-saving survival skill with your kids. Okay. Felicia Michelle reporting in studio. Felicia, thank you for that. We want to go now to our Walid Alamla.